Since my previous video going over how to generate outlines, Blender has received a number of updates that make generating outlines far more accurate, faster, and generally much more superior than the old solidify method and then compositing out errors later. Uh, this method uses the new geometry nodes. Uh, there is a second method I'm going to go over at the end of the video that solves an issue with geometry nodes, uh, if you can see here. When you're using this method, this is completely normal. Uh, it is significantly laggier than if you're not using it. Uh, as you can see here, this isn't, you know, the actual render lagging out or the recording. It's actually how it actually is in the viewport. Uh, this can be solved by just disabling it in the viewport here. Make sure render stays on, just disable in the viewport. And after you do that, it is as fast as it was before. Uh, but we're going to keep it on for the a demonstration tutorial. Uh, to use the new geometry method, it is now bundled inside of the blend file. So if we go into the append as you normally would, locate your download of your file, go into the node tree, and then look for ASW outline and then a version number. And then you hit append and it brings it into your thing. After that, you go to your body and then you will go add modifier geometry nodes and it makes a new geometry node. Then you'll have to click this icon here and then select the outline actual node tree. Uh, and then we have a couple of settings that we actually need to set up. The thickness can be set to one. You do need a camera for this to work correctly. Uh, basically the outline, actually I can show you, the outline modifies itself away from the camera based on vertex color math that happens in the game. So you do need a camera for it to actually work correctly. But when you're looking through the camera, it looks absolutely correct. Uh, vertex color is set to be default is your col that is the color attribute here uh, if you don't see this and you just see a black field you have to click this button here to change it from the rgb field into the attribute field here after that we have depth offset that is a setting that you really don't have to mess with unless you want to mess with it to make things if you know what you're doing uh, how this works is it changes how far back the outlines modify from the vertex colors. Uh, just keep it at one. It's usually going to be good. Uh, next, I'm going to go over base material first. Uh, that is obviously whatever your base material is that's going to be getting the outline. And that outline material is your outline. Enable distance scaling here is actually supposed to be set to zero for Strive. How this works is it reads the vertex color data, and for Exerd, Grand Blue, Fighters, and I believe DNF Dual, uh, depending on how far away the camera is from the object, it will actually scale the outlines outwards to you know compensate to have a consistent thickness to them. Uh, so everything except for Strive, you can turn it to one and it'll work. Uh, distance Clamp is basically, you know, the setting a maximum distance, um, you know, your maximum minimum distance for how big the outline will scale. Uh, so, you know, one, it's the smallest that it's going to be. Four will be the max, or four times as large is going to be the maximum that it can ever scale up to. You just have to enable it with this. And then only depth offset. This is basically useless now um, that I've modified a bit. This is a debug tool made for Waffle Time Cat and uh, some other people that needed it. I don't recommend ever touching with this. It's just a debug tool for them. Don't worry about it. Uh, this option here that I skipped over, Outline All Materials, uh, as the name implies, it applies the outline to every material on the mesh. So, all you know, the base, decal, decal, frip, outline, and glow. Uh, so if we, if I show you quick, there is no decal, or outline on the decals, but if I turn it on, suddenly you're going to get a bunch of artif weird artifacting going on because it is trying to generate onto the decal as well. So we're going to leave that off. Uh, if you want to have multiple materials, instances of your base, and you want to apply the outline to everything, you have to separate the decal and the damage or anything that you don't want to have an outline onto a separate mesh itself. It's just so that it doesn't generate the outline onto that. And this bottom option here, face. Uh, this is to go hand in hand with a previous video, my extra tips for rendering, where you separate the face mesh and then make a duplicate of it to transfer the normals from it. Go watch the previous video. Basically what it does is it is a fix for your normals being wonky, as you can see here. 
Uh, go watch a previous video if you want to know more about that. But this is just to select your face mesh so that it generates the outline on the face. Don't put the geometry nodes on the face. Put the geometry nodes on the body and then select the face mesh as an object. Uh, basically, and that goes over the highly recommended way to generate your actual outlines. The new method that I don't exactly recommend uh, is a method given by Goo Engine. Goo Engine, G-O-O -O Engine, is a fork of Blender made by Dylan Goo Studios. It's free to find online. Uh, you have to compile it yourself or you have to subscribe to their Patreon. Uh, compiling it yourself, please don't ask me how to do it. You have to look it up yourself. I don't know. I paid five dollars, uh, or to subscribe to their Patreon to just get a download of it. Um, but the new method that I don't exactly recommend, but I'll get into why. It oops, let me turn that back on. It is a version of the solidify version from the previous videos where you generate the solidify modifier, you put the outline on that, you set that all up. But this time, we aren't going to actually be doing any compositing. Uh, it is entirely handled by a new node added by Goo Engine called the Set Depth node right here. Uh, you can see, I can zoom out. Uh, if you want to have color for it, you would connect the color to where this RGB is connected into. Uh, but you get a good look because you can set it up yourself. Uh, again, this is only Goo Engine, only Goo Engine, not Base Blender. This will not work in Base Blender. But if we look out, you can see it doesn't have the jank outline going on here because this is doing the same thing with the outline offset, but it is from the viewport position, which is our which is what we call the 3D view that we're looking through right now. So it's always offsetting behind it, and you can never actually see what's what's happening there. Uh, it will work just fine in renders, don't worry. Uh, this new method is good, but it has some errors that can happen unless you want to manually clean it up. Uh, but it doesn't actually have the issue with with the lagging while animating. You can see here, it lags a little bit, but it's like 10% of what it does with the geometry nodes. Uh, what I recommend doing if you want to work with the outline on is what I've been doing to make you know to make this meme is that I will use the solidify normal or solidify outline with the goo engine material while I'm working and then when I'm going to be rendering I actually disable it and then I enable the geometry nodes and then you get the accuracy of geometry nodes and then the ease of use of the constantly offset outlines uh, I hope I helped I hope that you guys enjoy